Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Today, we're going to continue on with what we did last time, uh, continuing on with Britannia. Um, last time, we had a little bit of an accidental tree and bee, well, not bee breeding, but tree breeding we did. Um, as you can see, they've really taken off now that I don't need them. Um, well, we're even getting silk wisps and bits and pieces through here, but <clears throat> we did what we needed to anyway with the other uh, pollen that we got, pollen clusters. So the next thing we need to do now is make ourselves a mana pool. So, mana pool, standard mana pool is living rock and runestone symbols. So, living rock itself is made from the pure daisy around a runestone. Runestone is made from a petal block, beeswax, and the greenhouse blocks. Greenhouse blocks are made from bricks and camouflage paneling. Camouflage paneling being made from redwood plank or any planks really. Uh, some blue, some red, some yellow, some wood pulp and some ash and some biomass. So this is once again turning into a really nasty thing. Uh, as you can see, I've started the base of a new... I think I'm going to build a tower again in this. Um, you can't seem to spread too far out in this pack. So anyway, we're going to build a tower out there. Um, we're going to get a mana, um, a mana pool going today. Uh, the thing that I really need first, though, is wherever it is. I can never remember what it's called. Uh, petal apothecary. The petal apothecary is potentially on the last page. No, we're just going to search for it. Petal apothecary. Ah, uh, some cobblestone, some cobblestone, some cobblestone. Cool. So, cobblestone. Let's just grab a bunch of that. We're going to need that. Uh, what do we need? And some petals. Now, last time we made a bunch of um, a bunch of flowers. As you can see, I've got a ton of these now. But I shouldn't really use the white ones. Apothecary, excellent. Now, what I wanted to do was get another kitchen sink. So, wood, a water bucket, and some iron. Uh, oh, what sort of wood is it? Plain wood. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Why make one when you can make two? Now we just need the buckets, which I have two of. Go to our existing sink. Get one sink and another sink. Uh, buckets back there. Cool. And then we're going to need to put our petal apothecary somewhere. Now let's just sleep through the night and we can put our petal apothecary for now I am really just going to put this close by so we're going to put that there that there throw that back over there now do we have any of where are they not there uh, did I leave my bag? Yes, I did. Excellent. So the conduit. Oh, it's not going to connect. That's annoying. Haha. -ha. It's not one that connects. All right. So we're going to need to find a different sort of um, a different sort of connector for that. In the meantime, it does not matter. We're going to be able to use the buckets anyway. Uh, and we're also going to need uh, some seeds. Let's just grab some of those. You know what? Let's throw that in the ground. Some water. One, two, three, four. Yep. And then one of those. One, two, three, four, and one of those. Cool, two of these will do. 
So that's cool. That's one sort of part of the equation. Um, we're just going to put this out here for now. Now, the other bits that we're going to need, this is where it gets a bit interesting. We have minor pool, living rock. All right, so runestone. So we're going to need some petal blocks pretty easy. Beeswax, again, thanks to the fact that we did some accidental bees, we have a ton of beeswax. So that's going to be easy to do. Beeswax, check. We're going to need... All right, so that's just made with flint and that. Uh, we're going to need the petal block easy greenhouse block. Now, bricks. Bricks I actually made some of before coming on camera. So there's some bricks, which leaves... The camouflage paneling. Now, camouflage paneling. Sawdust is pretty easy. We just put some wood in a carpenter with some water. Now, I had one of these before over here. So that's that's kind of easy. Let's just grab I don't know, 16 will do. Wood's cheap. Oh, in fact, we don't even need that. We just need... Oh, let's just do 16 anyway. It'll make a stack of, a stack of the pulp. Uh, and then we're going to need... So that's easy, that's easy, that's easy. We're going to need biomass and ash. Now, ash comes from smelting peat. And peat comes from, well, from a bee or from bog earth. And bog earth comes from, again, the carpenter or crafting. Dirt, sand, and water. Now, we don't have a liquid crafter in this pack, unfortunately, which is kind of sucky, but that's okay. So we can easily get a stack of, oh, there we go, a stack of dirt and a stack of sand. And it's going to be a little bit painful. Where did I put that thing? Did I? I'm sure I just... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I'm sure I had a, had a sink here somewhere. So, we can do this. Make ourselves some bog earth. Now, there may be a faster way to make the bog earth. I'm not entirely sure um, if there is, unfortunately. In this pack, I haven't really looked to see if there's anything i did look for crafting related items and couldn't really see anything that um, was like the liquid crafter at least not for this part of the game anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a ton of bog earth this takes a little while to turn into peat unfortunately so we're gonna uh 48 let's make it up to Nice round 60. I'm going to go and bury these I don't know, over the side somewhere. So I'm going to bury these over here and that will basically give us a bit of time to, so once they're being made, uh, once the bogger is being made, that is the peat that we can burn for ash. We've got that, we've got that, we've got everything in here pretty much. We just need the biomass. Biomass coming from fermenting some things, a ton of things, namely saplings. Awesome. So we can do that with a fruit juice, with water. Awesome. So we're going to use, uh, oh, biochaff and a macerator. Awesome. So we've got plenty of ways of making this anyway. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'll run away and do a lot of this stuff off camera um, just because it's going to be a lot easier. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to need to make us a fermenter. The fermenter is need to going to go into the carpenter for this. Uh, and that's going to be... I don't know. We'll probably sit it over here somewhere seeing as we've got all the rest of the stuff here. Maybe over against that wall. I'm sure I can run power over there. All right, so I'm going to set that up over there, um, and I'll be back in just a moment once we've put some bog earth down and got the rest of the bits and pieces going, uh, and then we should nearly have all of the ingredients we need. Anyway, I'll be back in just a moment. 
All right, we are <clears throat> all right. We are checking back in, and we have our fermenter and our carpenter sit here, uh, sitting here, and we've set it up next to the sink just so that we've got some water. Um, I have got some dirt and some wheat to make some mulch because we need the mulch in the bottom, and we need some saplings on the top. Hooray! And here we have some biomass coming in. Awesome. So that's what we need for that. Now let's just go and check on the bog earth. So I made the rest of the bog earth and I know bog earth takes a long time. <laughs> Maturity 0%. Hmm. All right, I might have to look into why that's taking so long. Although it hasn't been that long, I guess. All right, so I'm once again going to run away. I'll see what's happening with the bog earth. Um, what I'll do is I'll make some more of the um, biomass, which means we can then make... Yeah, I'll get some of this stuff together. So we're going to need to make, well, we can't do the ash yet, um, but we can get the sawdust pretty easily in, not the sawmill, wood pulp, carpenter. That's right, we do actually have that running already. Over here. Uh, that one, 64 wood pulp. Excellent, cool. So we've got the wood pulp. We just need... What is it? Wood pulp at the bottom. We've got... Uh, where is it? There, there. I should really just look up <laughs> camouflage paneling. Uh, so wood pulp, ash, planks, and some blue, red, and yellow. Should be pretty easily. I think we've got... <laughs> with all the flowers out there, we can do that. So I'm going to grab some of those colours. We'll get this sorted out. Wow, that made biomass really quickly awesome use for all our saplings as well cool so i'll be back in just a moment hopefully we'll have a bit more of the ingredients and see what the ha what's happening with that bog earth see you in a bit so i'm just quickly back and apparently you need to have these things surrounded by water so i'm testing this <laughs> i'm testing a bit of a theory i've got some of them in a checkable pattern some of them in strips we'll see what happens with water on two sides versus water on well, three sides or four sides even. The maturity is 0%, but apparently they ripen in sort of 33% lots. So I'll see how these go, and we'll come back and see if any of these are faster, if it just needs water somewhere nearby. All right, see you once again in just a bit. So just very quickly checking in once again. As you can see, some of these have started turning 100%. We do have one over there and a few through the middle. So I don't actually think it matters. As long as there's water sort of next to it somewhere, I think that's 33, 33, there's a bunch of 33s over there, a bunch of zeros, 33, 66%. But then some over here that I started with are still only 33, 33, I think this one down the end here is still 0%. So I don't think there's much rhyme or reason, there must be like a chance for it to turn or something um, based on whether there's water next to it, but I don't think it really matters. Even that one's only got one next to it and it's still gone to 33%. Uh, so I'm going to leave this a little bit longer. We'll clear some of this and what it'll give us is a couple of peat per one of these. Um, we can then fire up the peat. In fact, let's just do a couple quickly. Do, do, do. In my new powered furnace, which I've set to automatically split. Ash, ash. And then over here. Cool, paneling, there we go. So camouflage paneling, we're gonna get four out of each one. So we're actually gonna get quite a bit of it. I've decided to use lapis in the end, didn't have any blue. We've got plenty of light blue, not a lot of blue. Um, and as you can see, that's, yeah, that's made plenty of biomass from one stack of trees, or saplings rather. So I'm gonna leave this going a bit longer. I'll come back once all that peat has turned. We'll turn it all into ash, make a bunch of panelings, and then we can finally get to, yeah, some bricks and panels, make some greenhouse blocks put them with some beeswax and some petal blocks and then that'll give us the runestone. We don't need many of them but I'm making tons anyway. Uh, and then the runestone we're just going to need to mix with uh, a flint for that one and just put next to the daisy for the uh, living rock. And then we should be able to make ourselves a mana pool. Alright, I'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, final, final, final hurdle. We are making... Way too many panels, but that's okay. We now have our greenhouse blocks. Uh, greenhouse blocks go in the corners. Beeswax. 
around. And then we need uh, petals. Petals, petals, petals. So we'll grab some of those ones because we've got heaps of them. We can always make more of these pretty easily. Uh, so let's go for that as a petal block. That as a petal block. And do you want to go for one more? Oh, light gray we use in a few things. Purple? Sure. Purple sounds good. So we're going to end up with a few materials left over, but that's not such a big worry, just in case we need to make more, which I'm sure we will at some point. Cool. Rune stones. And one more. Now we just need uh, Rowie Flint. So let's only make the one we need. Rune symbol. Rune symbol and four living rock. So once again, I'm only going to make what we need with this because I have a feeling we're going to need these for other things. Uh, so let's go one, two, three, four. That'll do. These normally don't take too long to go. Uh, and that's probably all we're going to do for this episode. Uh, the reason being, what we're going to need to do next is we're going to need to... Uh, generating flora. I'll probably just use an endo flame because it's easy uh, and we're not going to need too too much crazy at the moment. I just want mana glass really. Uh, so endo flame is just going to yeah red, light grey, couple of browns, not a problem. But the problem we're going to run into is when we want to send that power over to the there we go, mana repetition, mana spreader. So mana spreader in here not too bad. Gold, mystical blue and some living wood. And there is the problem, because living wood in this pack is made by putting bad graphic <laughs> around a pure daisy. But bad graphic is actually a wildwood log. Now the wildwood log you can't make directly. You have to make it with roots, which means the next episode is going to have to be all about roots. Ah, oh, there we go. Is going to have to be all about roots and how to get that um, wildwood log in order to make, um, in order to make the whatever the logs we need, living wood, living wood. That's the one. So in order to make the living wood log. So what I'll do between now and next time is I'll probably well I'll do a bit more work on my tower maybe, um, but I will also research what we need to do for roots because I think it's going to be quite involved and need quite a few things uh, in place before we can do that. Um, but for now, we have our mana pool. Huzzah. Now this is... I'll find a spot for this as well. So we'll make some of flame out of, uh, between now and next time. Put the mana pool out somewhere. And we'll be back with some roots next time. And then we'll hopefully be able to make some mana glass. Cool. So uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.